Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve copy list with a random pointer. So we're given a link list. And so this is a pretty big description of the problem, but it's actually more simple than that. So basically you can see down in the example, this is what you should pay attention to. We have a pretty ordinary linked list, right? So this is a node and you can see each node has a next pointer, right? So it just keeps going. It's singly linked list for the most part, right? And then we get to the end, right? So this is the end of the list. This is the start. The only difference between this and a regular linked list is that every single node has one extra pointer. It has a random pointer. So you can see that the first node has a random pointer going all the way to null, right? You can see that the second node has a random pointer going all the way back to the first node. You can see the third node has a random pointer going all the way to the last node. So basically what the deal is, is that every single node has a random pointer and that pointer could be pointing anywhere, right? It could be at null. It could be at some random node inside of the list. It could be at any of those nodes. So it has a random pointer, but it also has a next pointer, which is as you would expect, just pointing at the next node. All we really need to do with this linked list is create a copy of it. By that, they mean a deep copy. So really what we're doing is for every single node, we're allocating new memory. We're actually creating a new node, right? And so you can see we have five nodes in the input. So we're going to have to create five nodes in the output, right? So that's pretty straightforward, right? The only difficulty comes though is from the random pointer, right? Clearly these nodes are going to be uh, linked together, right? in linear fashion, but we also have random pointers, right? So for this node, we would have to create a random pointer pointing at null, right? Which is pretty easy. That's what was happening with the first node. But for the second node, right? We'd have a random pointer going back to the first node. And for the third node, we'd have a random pointer going to the last node. So it's not too bad, right? The only difficulty though with these random pointers is that take the third node, for example, right? Let's say we start cloning the node, right? We create the, a clone of the first node. Then we create a clone of the second node. Then we create a clone of the third node. And, you know, the random pointers, this one's going to be at null. This one's going to point back at the first node, but the third node, right? We know it's random pointer is going to be at the fifth node, but we haven't created a deep copy of the fifth node yet. So how can we assign a random pointer before it's even been created? Well, the answer is we're going to do two passes. We're going to have two loops. And so with these two passes, what the first pass is going to do is we're simply going to take each of these input nodes, right? And we're going to create a deep copy of the nodes, right? That's all we're doing. We're just going to create copies of these nodes. We're not even going to link them yet, right? So that's what w the first pass is going to do. And in addition, the first pass is also going to create a hash map where we map the original node to the new node, right? So we're going to map every old node to the new copy. We're going to do that with a hash map. And this is going to take place in the first pass. And in the actual second pass is where we're going to actually do all the pointer connecting. So we know that every node is going to have, you know, pointers to the next node. They're also going to have some random pointers as well, right? Like this is going to have a random pointer to the last node. And we're going to leverage our hash map that we create in the first pass, right? That we create using the first pass of our algorithm. We're going to leverage that hash map to get to map every old node to the new node. So for example, we see in the original third node, it's random pointer is pointing at the original fifth node, right? We can leverage that by taking our, using our hash map. We can say, okay, in the copy of the third node, we want it to point to the copy of the fifth node, right? And we can use our hash map to get the copy. And so if this doesn't make sense yet, this is just a basic illustration. This problem is actually straightforward enough with the code that I think even if this doesn't make sense, when I show you the code, it'll make a lot more sense because at the base, this is a two pass algorithm where we create a hash map and can easily solve this problem in linear time because each pass is going to be iterating through the entire linked list.
and our hash map is also going to take linear memory o of n memory because we are having to store every single node inside of our hash map so with that being said let me show you the code it's actually easier than you might think so remember we are going to have a hash map i'm going to call it old to copy because we're going to be mapping every single old node to the copy of that node that we create so First, we're going to iterate through the linked list once, right? So we're going to have a current pointer pointing at the head. We're basically going to keep going until this current pointer reaches the end of the linked list, aka when the, when the current node becomes null. So the first thing we want to do is create a copy of this node, right? So we can do that with the node construct constructor, and we're going to pass in the value of current. So current.value. We're creating a clone of the node, a deep copy of the node, putting it in copy. And now we're going to take this copy and put it in our hash map. So in our hash map, old to copy, we're going to map the old node to the copy that we just created, right? This is pretty straightforward, right? We're using a hash map, mapping the old node to the copy node. And next, all we really need to do is update our current pointer until it reaches null and then the first pass of our loop is going to be done right so remember we're doing two passes this is the first pass all we're doing is cloning the linked list nodes and adding it to the hash map we're not connecting the pointers yet that's what this loop is going to be for we're going to run the loop one more time setting current to the beginning of the linked list keep going until we reach the end of the linked list now we're going to set the pointers so we're at the first node, let's say, of our linked list, right? That's what current is. So let's get the copy of the node. Remember, we already created the copy in our hash map. So old to copy, we use current, and this gives us the copy node of current, right? And now what we want to do is for this current node, we just want to set its pointers. Because remember, we, we are required to set the pointers to create a full deep copy of the linked list. We need to set the, the next pointer, right? So copy.next, we have to set that pointer. We also have to set copy.random. So copy has two pointers and we need to find those nodes, right? So copy.next, how do we get copy.next? Well, we know we have a, a map that can map original nodes to the copies, right? So if we take current.next, that's gonna map us to the copy of current.next that we created. And that copy can be stored in copy.next, right? This is what our hash map makes our life so much easier, right? We already know we created a copy of every single node. So of course, current.next is going to be in copy.next, except one case, one edge case, what if current.next was null? What would we want our hash map to return in that case? We'd want it to return null. So in, up here in our initializing of the hash map, I'm just going to add one value. Null is going to point, is going to map to null. So it's pretty straightforward, right? If we had a old node that was null, we want to, the copy is also going to be null, right? And last thing, we're basically just doing the exact same thing. So for the current node, the current node had, or the original node, it had a random pointer, right? That random pointer it points to some node and that node has already, ha we have already created a copy of that node and put it inside this hash map. So we can get that copy and then put it in copy.random, right? So the copy node is going to point to a copy of that random node. And that's actually it. We just had two passes, one pass where we actually copy the nodes, the second pass where we set the pointers, and we had one data structure, a hash map. With all that said, we can return the head of the copy list. How do we get the head? Well, our hash map becomes useful for us once again. We can take the head of the original linked list and then map it to the copy, right? And then return that head of the copy list. Okay, I'm pretty dumb. For some reason I put old over here, but it's actually cur. Cur is the old node. And for some reason, I also forgot in the original loop, we do update cur. I forgot to update cur in the second loop. So cur is cur.next. Now we won't get an infinite loop. And as you can see, this function is very efficient, 96%, because it's a linear time algorithm, and we do have a hash map speeding stuff up for us. So I hope that this was helpful. If it was, 
Please like and subscribe. It supports the channel a lot, and I'll hopefully see you pretty soon.